What is going on guys, Shummel Gaming back with another Wulong boss guide. This time we're on Zhang Zhao and we're gonna jump right into this one. I didn't prep for this boss too much, um, but doesn't mean you shun it if you are struggling with the boss uh, and that's okay. Just make sure you grind your morale level to level 25. If you're really struggling, you can use a tiger seal to summon a second companion. I personally didn't. I, only, I wiped on this boss a few times, but I was getting close. So I just kept going at it. I figured I was gonna get it soon. This boss is mainly a spellcaster. He's going to use a lot of lightning and earth spells. Uh, summon lightning that's going to cover like half the room. He's going to use spells that uh, spawn tornadoes, stuff like that. Seems like whenever you stay mid range, he's going to use most of these abilities, but they're all pretty uh, easy to dodge. Now, here's his first ability that we need to deflect. He's going to glow red. He's going to be on the ground in all fours, and he's going to summon like a fire or a rock at you. That one is definitely the uh, harder one to deflect of the two, but just make sure you deflect it as it's coming in. I failed there, and actually on, on this attempt, the one I got it on, I think he uses it twice, and I actually think I failed uh, deflecting it both times. The other one is much easier to deflect. Now whenever he's on his, my companion, which he was there, make sure you get behind him and punish the boss uh, if he's on your companion. If he's on you, again, I recommend staying mid-range and just trying to dodge all of his uh, spells. Uh, and let your companion do the damage while he's on you. Again, most of them are pretty straightforward boss mechanics. Um, we're going to see the other deflectable attack here in a second where he's going to go red, but this time a hammer is going to go above his head. When that hammer starts to come down, we're going to hit the deflect button. That one I found to be much easier to, uh, to deflect. Do a little bit of damage when you can, but then just back out and stay at mid-range. Let your companion do the work and just continue to dodge spells. Again, if you're struggling, I would recommend using two companions um, so they do more damage. But here we go. There, here's another one where you just got to jump over or you can get behind. A lot of these mechanics are, are mechanics you see in a lot of games like this, so not too bad. This time he uses the uh, hammer attack on my companion, so I'm going to get behind him and do some damage. As you can see, I have Vitality still equipped. I've been using that on pretty much every boss, so when that's up, I can get a lot of health back. He uses it that time, I'm deflect it, hit him one more time, land a fatal strike. It's going to do pretty much the rest of his health. I actually didn't even use Summon Divine Beast here, um, so I probably would have got it sooner. I do recommend uh, grinding that outside the boss before you come in to make sure that you have that to use as well. But yeah, I mean, I think just again, stay in mid-range when he's on focused on you. When he's on your companion, you're doing damage to him from behind, and then just trying to deflect those attacks, and I think you'll get this guy. Uh, here's the other one that, I, but again, I fail this one. Or no, it hits my companion. That's what happens. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna down this boss here in a second. I hope this video was helpful. I didn't struggle too much with this, so I didn't get too many runs on him. Doesn't mean you might not. Uh, just do the prep work. Make sure you're high, high morale. Use his second companion if need to. Use abilities that uh, work best for your build, and you should get this guy. I hope this video was helpful. Check out the channel for other Wu Long boss guides and achievement guides and stuff like that. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Magnificently. I'll need to take care not to be overshadowed.